What's up guys, welcome back to a new video. Don't mind my voice, I'm kinda sick, but... So, I literally, this was the most craziest experience I had ordering CDs. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, first, let's just go out, um, like, quick little things that I'm not really gonna talk about too much, but... I did not make a video on this, I did get the Limp Biscuit $3 bill, y'all, CD. It is not really that interesting of a thing to talk about, but it's pretty cool, look at that. But yeah, and also another thing, I also got um, the first Korn album, at the, on the same day I got the, uh, the CD I will be talking about today. As you see, it's pretty neat, hell yeah. But now I'll be talking about the most craziest experience I have ever had with ordering CDs, and here it is. So this is, you would look at this and say, oh, this is the Slipknot um, Digipack, if you know anything about Slipknot CDs. But if you don't know about a Digipack, well, what a Digipack is in general, it is an album that, you know, like albums, like I would say, Weezer, maybe, um, maybe like Corn or something. Any album, at, like not every album, but most albums do get DJ packs, which include extra songs. As you can see, um, the regular one finishes at Scissors, Get This, Spit It Out, Wembley, Interloper, Despise, Surfacing, yeah. And as you can also see, me inside is here. Me inside, we'll talk about the number eight here. <clears throat> so, I ordered this for seven dollars. Fun fact: the Digi Pack is normally thirty to sixty dollars on eBay, so it was really a good deal. So, you see, everything comes with it: the booklet, the um, photos here. I'm gonna just go here. Look at that. Let me just pull the CD out. I'm not gonna show the CD yet. Look at that. Um, let's open this up. Look at that beautiful art. People equal shitty. And <clears throat> let's cover the CD real quick. Now I'll be uh, sh uh, showing a photo of what a CD is supposed to look like in the DJ pack, and now I'll show you guys this. You might be thinking, this does not look the same. Maybe it's a different release because there are different, there are different like type styles on the DJ pack. There's like a blank white one, and there's the black one. But this looks different. What is this? And I kind of got a big flash in my brain. I'm like, holy shit, it's not, it's not going to be that. There's, there's a 50-50 chance it's going to be that. I opened it up, played most of the songs, tested it out. Until I got to number 8. And now we'll get to what is the most interesting part. <clears throat> I did not get any digipacks. I did not get any, like extra songs I just got the case this is a whole different CD and that's why I got excited and that's why I'm posting this because this is not any ordinary Slipknot CD this is the first effing flipping goddamn this is the first ever print of Slipknot self-titled it's like the the most one of the most rarest Slipknot CDs known to man I saw the most ex most expensive price right now on Discord, uh, Discord, which is like um, a disc, like Korg, not Discord, Discord, which is like an app where you could look and check the prices of your CDs you own. But look at this. So, fun fact: uh, to, to people don't do not know. This, the Slipknot one, let me just quickly go get that real quick. To the people that only listen to Slipknot on their freaking phone or something, this is not the actual first ever release of the album. And do you know why? Because the first release does not have this little logo here, and this logo gets transported here. And, boom, boom, boom. Me Inside is not in the freaking original release, but... Why? Now, I will be explaining why. So, a long time ago, when the Slipknot album came out, <clears throat> it had two so uh, two songs in the album. One, Frail Limb Nursery, and the other, Purity. 
Now you probably know who what purity is. It is a song. Well, no shit it is, but <laughs> you might see on the 10th anniversary version. At first, I actually thought it was just um, a demo or something, but when I found out, I, I got shocked as hell. So, the first release had these two songs that got removed in the re-release I have here. And the reason they got removed is because copyright issues with the story the of the song, which was, Corey thought it was a real story on the internet about like a girl that got like uh, put in into a box and dig dig into the ground. And he, Corey, I don't know how he thought that was real, bro. First of all, there's photos in the website. Who the hell would dig up purity and just take like perfect photos with the most best looking camera ever? So I don't know how Corey fell for that, but he made a song about that. Frail Limb Nursery is an intro to purity, which has um like pretty much yeah, but whatever. Frail Limb Nursery has never been re-released at all. So this is the only way you can listen to it. Well, besides on YouTube, but let me just say um I got really excited. And yeah, the only reason it's not in the real is because they got they were gonna get sued, but that lawsuit's pretty much over with because no one even cares about that website anymore. It's not even up anymore. But actually, no, I think it is up, but I have no clue. I might have to check one day. But they re-released Purity onto the tenth anniversary edition. So I'm asking, look. This is to the Slipknot band, even though they're not gonna listen to this. Why the hell did you not, guys not really release the first one with Purity and Frail Limb? Like, I need to know really bad. Like, if the lawsuit's over with, then what's the point of not re-releasing it? Because you guys like uh, me inside? I mean, it's a good song, yeah, but like, Purity's better, man. Purity's ten times better, that's all I gotta say. But yeah, that's my rant. And... Let's just think about this on how we got into this DigiPack case. My theory is so I got this from like you know those uh, Goodwill eBay stores that like resell Goodwill stuff. I got this from one of those stores, and um, so what happened was uh, the CD. Well, I, I not I don't know if this happened, but this is my theory. I'm guessing the guy that sold this to Goodwill probably like really liked the Digipack, so he probably replaced it with his Slipknot thing, not knowing that how expensive the regular CD is. <laughs> That's like the funniest thing ever, but the only bad thing, I don't got the real case, and the real case is like $20. You really think I want to pay money for a case? I already own this. I already own the case. And plus, this case is 10 times cooler, man. Look at this. Look, look, look at this. It's like an openable case, man. Look how cool this is. So, whatever, I am way happier than I was at first, because normal price for this, $30. Normal price for the CD is like $120, minusing like $30 for the case. Meaning, well, fun fact, I bought this for $7. What a steal, man. But, meaning that I got lucky first by getting this for $7, and I got lucky twice by getting something that I did not expect on this. So, yeah. That'll be it for this video, so yeah, let's just, like, this is the original, this is the one I got, Limp Pimp, finally, the corn album that I've actually been looking for for like, th two months, but, I know, you, you might be asking, why the hell did you look for it for two months, just go and buy it from eBay or something, I did buy this, from whatnot and whatnot is the best thing ever because I want a good deal from whatnot so I would get it for like from like a, a show which would be really cheap but I just saw this on the whatnot store and I'm like whatever I'm gonna just screw it and buy it but yeah that's pretty much it for today this is the weirdest experience I had with a CD I'm gonna just make the thumbnail and yeah that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and giving me ad revenue. Actually, no, I do not get paid off this. 
so I do not care if you guys watch this or not. I do not get paid. Anyways, yeah, bye, eat a burger, um, go make a pillow or something like I did, and maybe, like, play on your Switch or something if you have one. Bye-bye, yeah!